May I have the pleasure to introduce you to the part of the Indian Ocean that meets coast at a place called Sabuana Bay. Many of you know it well, as it is a mecca for tropical diving for many South Africans. But let me tell you something about it from my perspective. I was very surprised when I first got here. Before I decided to pack my dive and video gear and fly all the way to this unknown to me corner of the country, I did an internet research about this place. I have found next to nothing. It turned out to be more than just something. This little dive paradise, tucked away among many nature reserves, has proved to me as a top dive destination, best I have been to. The sheer size of the reef is mind-blowing. Having had done a few hundred dives already on it, I bet I have still not been everywhere. Coral cover with a unique mix of hard and soft coral looks very healthy. The marine life is incredibly varied and there is hardly any empty spot on the reef. Everywhere you go you can see myriads of tiny little fish, which, if you look into, can include so many different species. They say there is over a thousand species of fish in this area, each with their own story. Schools of snappers hover in many places, catching food passing in the current. A long-nosed hogfish found its home on a black tree coral on one of the deeper reefs. With a special filming technique, I managed to get close to many tiny life that is extremely abundant on solid reefs, like the minuscule seaweed goby, spending all its life on a seaweed coral. Or a blackwood coral shrimp who also chooses a life on a stick. Such as this one, most of them are colorful shrimps that come in many shapes and sizes. Some of them are responsible for cleaning other fish, hence their name, cleaning shrimp, like the white banded cleaning shrimp or the blue banded boxer shrimp. Urban dancers set up whole colonies as a cleaning station where you can find many of them patiently waiting for customers. Also, the small nudibranchs, a group of ocean sea slugs, can be found here in many forms. as well as some flatworms. Every now and again, someone finds something absolutely unique, like the recent specimen of the family of ghost pipe fishes, the ornate ghost pipe fish. Its astounding color pattern can't be matched by any other. Potato bass. These massive groupers are protected in South African waters, which in turn sees their numbers on the reefs quite high. In Sadwana, there is a few dive sites where you can encounter a resident bass, sometimes coming very close to you. No need to worry, they're usually very docile. For me though, one of the biggest highlights of diving in Sadwana are the turtles. Literally, on every second dive you can see at least one, and they are very mellow, not really caring about divers. That obviously allows for some good shots to be taken. There is so much more to this place than what you have just seen. If you want to learn more, keep an eye out for a new documentary about it, soon to be released.